Hello, my crafty friends. Well, this is my completed tea bag book. Tanya and I worked in this for about five weeks. Um, and then there were a couple of weeks in the middle of those five weeks when we didn't get to work in it. So um, it's the culmination of almost two months worth of work. But there are um, 10, I think, or 11 videos in my playlist. And um, I'll put that playlist in the description box down below so you can go to the playlist and you can see how how we made our tea bag books. And I'll also have a link to Tanya's channel so you can go and you can see um, when she gets her flip through up, you can look at her um, her flip through. Most of you I know are subscribed to Tanya already. so But um, I'm not going to tell you everything that I did in here because that would take a long time and it would not be a flip through. It would be an explain through. <laughs> so I'm not going to do that. But I brought the camera in really close. So I'm hoping that you can see pretty good. Um, I will read the words because a lot of times they're not easy to read that I've put on the pages. And... Um, and I'll tell you a little bit about the book. Um, I made my cover out of a file folder and I glued the two halves of it together so it's double thickness. And then I just made it into a, a you know, the shape of a book. And I thought one and a half inch spine would be plenty big. Obviously it wasn't. But that's okay. It's just a nice fluffy book. And then after I, um, I did that, let me see if I can... Then I covered it in um, pieces of tea bag, and I just glued them on, and I glued them on with the glue stick so that they would still feel like tea bag when you touch it. And I really like that. And I did do some decorating on the front, but I left the rest of it just the way it is um, because I really liked that. And this book's about the tea bags; it's not only about the art. So, um, so I left that the way it was. And on the front it says, In our hearts we carry all the treasures that we shall ever own. They are the memories of all the dear friends that we have known. And um, most of the uh, words in this book are about friendship. And so um, this is kind of my teabag book that's a celebration of friendship as well. This one says, The ability to make real friends is the best sign of a successful life. And there are some things like these things that I got in Happy Mail. And so that um, also celebrates friendship. And I didn't have any um, specific words for this one. I just didn't feel like it needed them. I didn't want to put words on every single page or phrases or whatever you want to call it on every single page. So. This one is a piece of uh, the fabric I made my wedding dress out of, or my mom made my wedding dress out of. It says, friendship is a work of heart. And Tanya gave me this. And I don't remember everything that people gave me in here, so I'm going to stop trying to say stuff that people gave me because I, I don't want to... I'm going to leave people out if I do that. Sharing laughter is a massage from the inside out. And you can all read this one really well. But I like it. Dance like nobody is watching. Sing like nobody is listening. Love like you've never loved before. Live life to the fullest. We may not have all come on the same ship. But we're all in the same boat. And you can see how this one got... Um, it probably should be like this. But it got, it got sort of in crooked. Oh, well. A friend is a smile when you are sad and a song when you are happy. The better part of one's life consists of friendships. May our life be like arithmetic. Friends added, enemies subtracted, joys multiplied, and troubles divided. And you can see that when we put these folios together... We sewed them together. And then um, I didn't do any more sewing except for a tiny little bit in a couple of places um, in my book. So once I sewed the folios together, 
everything else that I added in, I just glued in. Um, Tanya did a lot more sewing where she sewed stuff into the book. And um, and it's lovely. So you'll enjoy going to see see that. Don't worry about wrinkles. They merely indicate where smiles have been. Everyone needs a friend, especially when they don't deserve one. Happiness is being married to your best friend, and that is true. And I am I'm pretty happy. The eyes may wrinkle and hair may turn gray, but true friendship never knows decay. Sometimes the only way we can get through the day is to hug our friends tight and do our job the best we can. These little words uh, or phrases came off of a, um, a little kind of, it wasn't a calendar because it wasn't like a year, but it was just a little uh, booklet that had different things about friends on it. And um, so I just tore out the ones I liked the best and put in this book. When we sow kindness, we reap a harvest of friends. I got to use a little bit of my rusty stuff. And that's fun. A friend is one before whom one may think out loud. Life's sweet fragrance is a bouquet of friends. Here's some more rusty stuff. The best things to say for old age are your friends. Friendship often sneaks in through a door that you didn't know you left open. If a friend is too tired to give you a smile, give her one of yours. Wherever we are, it is our friends that make our world. The best mirror is an old friend. To love a friend is to give her room enough to grow. A friend is a present you give yourself. A friend comes to you when all others leave. And that is my little tea bag book. I hope if you haven't watched us build these books that um, you'll take a look at the playlist down below and and you can see how we put all how I put all this together and Tanya's in there with me so you'll see how she put hers together too. The lists um, about half of the videos were made on my channel and half were made on her channel, but I have all of them in the playlist so you can you can get to all of them. Uh, from the playlist that I have located in the description box down there. How do you say that? Down there. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, God bless you and you have a great day.